Hey, Gut Fox here. Today I'm doing a player review of Sammy Ball and Colin Kaepernick. Sammy Ball will be up first. I'm choosing these two because most of the review requests I get are for quarterbacks, so I'm knocking out two of them this week. Not literally, of course, that'd be hard. We'll do a position here with Russell Wilson and any other quarterback soon. Sammy Ball was known as Slingin' Sammy Ball because we all are fans of alliteration. He had the arm of a god, the legs of a flamingo. He's six foot two, 182 pounds. Played quarterback, free safety, and punter. I have his free safety card too, but I might review that another day. Today is strictly his QB card. Some say his 1943 season was the greatest year ever by a football player. He led the league in completion percentage, had at the time the third most passing touchdowns in NFL history in a season with 23, led the league in punt yardage and average yards per punt. He also led the league with 11 interceptions on defense in 10 games. His season was so good, if you could put it on fries, you'd be a millionaire. He played 16 years in the Leather Helmet era and was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1963. He still holds the NFL single season yards per punt record. His stats in game, he's got 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 98 throw power, 95 throw accuracy short, 93 throw accuracy medium, 99 throw accuracy deep. He's got 95 throw on the run and 84 carry. Before this ball, the best two middle ground passers with good speed and good throw accuracy was Honor Rodgers and position hero Russell Wilson. This Sammy slots in between Rodgers and Wilson for skills. Sammy has Rodgers beaten everything except one throw power and five accuracy short. Since Sammy is 95 throw accuracy short is decent for the close routes, he really stands out with that 98 throw power combined with the 99 throw accuracy deep. If you like to chuck it deep, he has a second best accuracy deep behind ultimate legend Tom Brady. Sammy's 84 carry means if you need the first down, you can go for it and not worry as much about fumbling like you would with Jameis Winston. His fingers are strong. It's good but not spectacular to try and slide when you don't absolutely need the extra yards. I am not a fan of his 93 throw medium as that is where the majority of my good gains come from. And unlike close range, if you miss a throw medium, you have a good chance of being picked. The windows are much smaller further down the field with defenders closing so fast in the zones in this game. You need to sneak it into the wide receiver's hands like you're dating a Christian girl. I'd say 87 speed is the minimum you want now for an effective scrambling quarterback. Below that, and your guy might be sneaky fast but can't threaten the defense due to all the speed at ends and linebackers now. Sammy crossed this barrier and is mobile. I played with Sammy after Kaepernick and you could definitely tell the difference in acceleration and speed out of the pocket. Sammy was more sluggish like my computer after a session in incognito mode. I'm surprised it didn't match Sammy's QB and free safety card to have the same stats. It was probably done for balance, but it would have been a nice touch for them to have something like that. The quarterback only has 72 hit power, while the free safety card is 95. Would have loved for a quarterback that could get the ball back after an interception. Overall, Sammy can execute a very good pocket passing offense with the ability to scramble out of it. Ball's strengths are his good carry and speed along with throw power and accuracy deep. An amazing quarterback that can execute any offense you want to run him in. His weaknesses revolve around the fact that he isn't perfect in every category, which really is too high of a standard. Not as fast as the Vicks and RG3s, not as accurate as Brady in the short and medium. An upgrade to Rodgers, a downgrade from position hero Russell Wilson. On to the next quarterback, Colin Kaepernick. He has a 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 100 throw power, 90 accuracy short, 89 accuracy medium, 95 accuracy deep, 93 throw on the run, 80 carrying, and 96 play action. Born three days after Halloween in 1987, Colin Rand Kaepernick has been a quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers since he was drafted 36 overall in the 2011 NFL Draft. He ran a 4-5-3 40-yard dash and had a 36 Wonderlick score at the Combine. He loves Sour Patch Kids and setting the record for most rushing yards by a quarterback in a game, both regular season and playoffs. He's been to one Super Bowl and one NFC Championship as a quarterback of the 49ers, but had a down year last year. The 49ers lost quite a bit of personnel during the offseason. Many are speculating Kaepernick might be traded too, as it seems the 49ers are in a transition period. I guess we'll see. The 49ers added Torrey Smith and Reggie Bush this offseason, so Cap might be picking it up in the passing game next year. But without Harbaugh, Cap and the 49ers will be an interesting team this season. Kaepernick is very similar to Ball, just a bit faster and more powerful, less accurate version. Great throw deep and throw power. Where does that sound familiar from? He's pretty bad at throwing short and throwing medium though. His throw on the run isn't anything to write home about and carrying his average for a starting quarterback at this time in mud. What makes him a special QB is his speed. Raw, unadulterated speed. Like jumping off roofs and running from the cops speed. The acceleration makes it really easy to escape the pocket and make plays. He has 96 play action which means he's amazing at the PA rollout. 
He can either quick throw it over the biting linebacker's head or roll out to extend the play and find the open guy for a large gain. A lot of guys like to run around behind the line of scrimmage and chuck it deep, either across their body or down the sideline to get the spec catch animation like that dude Sly's favorite play he mentioned in our interview. Kaepernick is perfect for this game style. Unfortunately, this is not my style, so my review of him is a little tainted, like the cheap meat I buy. I like pocket passing like I like mad cow burgers, and Cap is not great at pocket passing. I tried to add more rollouts to my game, but guys frequently came out in wide alignments and QB contains. To counter the contains, you need to block my favorite target, the tight end. In a different offense with a different play style, I can see Kaepernick thriving. And I don't want to knock his pocket stats too much. For reference, his accuracy stats are better than most all quarterbacks in the base set. At 95 throw deep, we didn't have that until the legend Dan Marino was released. I had previously said that mobile quarterbacks are just flat out better at winning games than pocket quarterbacks. It's still true, but I will say, contains a run on every play by a good defense against the mobile quarterbacks, and most nano blitzes have the contains to make them work. So when you're being nanoed, mobile quarterbacks only hold a slight advantage and sometimes a disadvantage because of the short throw accuracy you need to get the ball out quick and on target. I like Cap for his price, but if I were to compare the two quarterbacks straight up, I'd take Baugh as he offers the best pocket presence if your opponent is able to contain your scrambling. Neither of these quarterbacks are amazing for my style as they both have lower throw accuracy medium. I'm not amazing at catching a deep thrown ball with my user wide receiver like I'm not amazing at catching signals from traffic lights. But rightly so, Baugh is more expensive. When price is factored in, it's hard to argue against Kaepernick. In my final ratings, I give Baugh an A- and Cap a B+. And remember, this is for my style of QBing, your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, I'll see you tomorrow.